Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. We have some outgoing fall swap mail. <laughs> I had planned on doing a whole bunch of things and that didn't end up happening. So we only have uh, four projects, I think. Four things, I guess I should say instead. Um, I ended up making some embroidery hoop wreaths. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Actually, let me move this out of the way a bit here. So we've got... A bunch of Dollar Tree items actually just kind of layered and I used some the ribbons Dollar Tree too that was from last year though so I don't know if that's still hanging around <laughs> their stuff kind of changes a lot so we'll see hopefully I can get back to Dollar Tree in two weeks <laughs> we um, had our first mortgage payment so we're feeling the tightness a little bit and I think I'm going to have to send this package out with just stamps. So <laughs> it's definitely, a, um, it's going to be an interesting few weeks. <laughs> but anyways, so I've got the wreath. I have a set of cards. And I used the stickers on the side here. I used... What is it called? Oh, Welcome Fall. It is the Echo Park kit. 12 by 12 kit. They're all pretty much the same. Just a little bit of a difference. On some orange card bases. They turned out so cute. I love them. This paper kit is just so adorable. I love how everything turned out. <laughs> I made a little goodie bag. I don't <laughs> just some leftovers of the Dollar Tree items that I figured they could use. So some of the leaves, some of the pumpkins, and then some of the wood words. And then I made a pocket letter. I wanted to make it as flat as possible, so I decided to do one of the little file folders. Um, just a little ribbon belly band. Used some of the collection again to decorate it up. I did add in some collection. The four by, is it four by six? I think those are what those are. Because I ended up not putting goodies in. Uh, mainly because I don't have any at the house. <laughs> so I feel a little bit bad about that. But I did add some paper. So some of the 4x6 kind of ephemera journaling card style. But let's go ahead and do a quick overview of the pocket letter. And then I just used some of that ribbon as well. It's so pretty. I love it. I did add... Some just a few cut aparts there, <laughs> some paper and cut aparts, and then I also used um, what was that from? That was from the sticker page, it was the branding strip of the sticker page. I went ahead and put that on there, and I thought that turned out so cute. So I have my pocket letter, I have my set of cards, I have my wreath, and my little doodad bag, <laughs> but it's a big doodad bag. <laughs> but yeah, this collection is adorable. I'm really enjoying it. Let me grab it real quick. I don't think I ended up using anything else. Uh, no. Besides the Dollar Tree stuff, of course, for the... And then the embroidery hoop I already had on hand, so... But that was the collection. I'm hoping to finish off the collection and then I'll do a separate video. But I'll probably link this video <laughs> to that one just so people can see what I made with it as well. Mainly the cards and then the pocket letter. 
I did use some on the little packaging topper, but that is my outgoing fall swap and I'm going to package it on up probably in a flat <laughs> bubble mailer, which is not like me. I really like to, especially for the fall and Halloween, go all out, but yeah, <laughs> sometimes I just got to do it this way <laughs> and hopefully she enjoys it. I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.